Imagine a time when the land masses of our world were not separate, but connected in one enormous supercontinent. This land was called Gondwana, a vast prehistoric continent that existed for hundreds of millions of years. It was home to strange and magnificent creatures, thick forests, and dramatic landscapes. Gondwana played a crucial role in shaping the Earth as we know it today. But how did it come into existence? What kind of life flourished there? And what happened when it started breaking apart? Let's take a journey back in time to uncover the incredible story of Gondwana. Long before our continents looked the way they do today, Earth was a very different place. Around 600 million years ago, during the late Precambrian period, a massive landmass began to take shape. This was Gondwana, formed from the collision and merging of several smaller landmasses. These included what we now recognize as South America, Africa, Antarctica, Australia, the Indian subcontinent, and even parts of the Middle East. At the time, tectonic forces were at work deep beneath the Earth's crust, pulling and pushing landmasses together. The assembly of Gondwana was influenced by an earlier supercontinent called Pinocha, which had started breaking apart. As the tectonic plates shifted, new mountains formed, massive rivers carved their paths, and life began to evolve in new and fascinating ways. Gondwana would go on to exist for more than 300 million years, shaping the course of evolution and the planet's climate. Gondwana was not just a barren rock, it was teeming with life. Thick, lush forests covered its lands, and vast swamps stretched for miles. During the Paleozoic era, strange sea creatures thrived in its waters. Gigantic insects and early amphibians crawled through its dense vegetation. Later, during the Mesozoic era, the land became home to some of the most famous creatures of all time, the dinosaurs. Gondwana saw the rise of unique species that could not be found anywhere else. Massive plant-eating dinosaurs like Argentinosaurus, which was one of the largest land animals to ever walk the earth, roamed its plains. Ferocious predators, such as the fearsome Abelosaurus, hunted across its territories. During this time, the first flowering plants also appeared, changing the landscape forever. Because Gondwana stretched across both warm and cold regions, it had a wide variety of ecosystems. In the north, it was hot and humid, perfect for giant ferns and early conifer trees. In the south, where Antarctica lay, temperatures could be cold, yet fossils suggest that forests still thrive there. Even today, scientists are uncovering plant fossils in Antarctica that reveal a time when it was not covered in ice, but instead full of life. But Gondwana was not destined to last forever. Around 180 million years ago, during the Jurassic period, powerful forces beneath the Earth began to tear it apart. The supercontinent started to break into smaller pieces due to intense volcanic activity and the movement of tectonic plates. Rift valleys formed, filling with water and eventually becoming the beginnings of the Atlantic and Indian Oceans. Slowly, the landmasses that once made up Gondwana drifted further and further apart. Over millions of years, South America separated from Africa, India moved northward towards Asia, and Antarctica and Australia began their long journey southward. This breakup had a massive impact on life. Animals that had once lived together were now isolated on different continents. Over time, they evolved in unique ways, leading to the diverse species we see today. For example, marsupials, which are common in Australia, can trace their origins back to Gondwana. The fossil record shows how creatures in South America and Africa once shared ancestors before their lands drifted apart. Even though Gondwana is long gone, its influence can still be seen today. The shapes of continents like South America and Africa fit together like pieces of a puzzle, hinting at their ancient connection. Fossils of the same plant and animal species have been found on continents that are now separated by vast oceans, proving that they were once part of the same landmass. Gondwana's breakup also shaped the climate of our modern world. The movement of its landmasses changed ocean currents and wind patterns, influencing global temperatures. For example, when Antarctica finally settled over the South Pole, it became covered in ice, dramatically cooling the planet. Even the mountains we see today, like the Himalayas, owe their existence to the movement of Gondwana's pieces. When the Indian subcontinent drifted north and collided with Asia, it pushed up the land, forming the highest mountain range on Earth. Gondwana was more than just a supercontinent. 
It was a foundation for the world we live in today. Its formation, life, and eventual breakup tell the story of our planet's ever-changing nature. Without Gondwana, Earth's continents, climate, and even the species that inhabit it would be entirely different. As we continue to study our planet's past, we gain valuable insight into its future. Could another supercontinent form one day? Some scientists believe that in the distant future, the continents will merge once again, creating a new supercontinent called Pangaea Proxima. But for now, we can only look back and marvel at the lost world of Gondwana, a place that shaped the Earth and life as we know it. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more fun facts and adventures, don't forget to subscribe and follow our channel. Stay tuned for more exciting content.